Welcome back to the second part of our windmill video. In this part, our learning objectives are we want to convert the windmill into a fan and we want to understand how to achieve speed change using gears. Finally, we will also understand the relation between the speed change and the gear teeth ratio. So let's first see how to convert windmill into a fan. Very simple. Remove the blade assembly from your big gear and then interchange the position of the gears. Which means put the big gear onto the motor and medium gear onto the axle. Finally put the blades back onto the medium gear axle and lock it with a shaft lock. And now try and see your windmill is rotating fast. So it is no more a windmill, it has become a fan. Now what did we do? Let's understand that. This was how our windmill was and this is how our fan was. So this is only the gear connections for our windmill and for our fan. What is the difference? Difference is for windmill, the medium gear was on the motor shaft and the big gear was on to the axle to which we had attached the blades. Here the big gear is on to the motor shaft and medium gear is on to the axle and we are going to attach our blades here. Why does it change the speed? If you see here one teeth of this gear medium gear is going to push one teeth of this big gear. So when this rotates each teeth of the medium gear is pushing one teeth of this big gear forward. But this medium gear has less number of teeth. So when it completes one full rotation, it only pushes half of these teeth. Which means this gear is not completing one rotation when this gear completes one rotation. It is completing less rotations. When this rotates maybe twice, this is going to complete one rotation. Now that means if this gear is rotating at the speed of the motor, which is 60 RPM, then this gear is going to rotate at less than that speed, around 30 RPM. And that's how the blades will rotate slow. Whereas here, what happens? We have put the big gear onto the motor. So now big gear rotates at the motor speed which is 60 rpm. Each teeth of the big gear is driving each teeth of the medium gear. If big gear has 60 teeth and the medium gear has 30 teeth, then in one full rotation, 60 teeth of this gear are going to pass this point. And each teeth is pushing one teeth of this gear. So even here 60 teeth will be pushed. But this only has 30 teeth. Which means this gear will be pushed twice. So this rotate once, this will rotate twice. So if this is rotating at 60 rotations per minute, this will rotate at 120 rotations per minute. And that will become faster. This was rotating as 30 rotations per minute. This is now rotating at 120 rotations per minute. Almost 4 times faster than the windmill. What is happening? One teeth pushes one teeth of other gear and hence the ratio of the number of teeth of the gear is going to determine the ratio of change of speed. So if I have put a small gear on motor and a big gear on to the assembly, my assembly is going to rotate slow. By how much? By the ratio of the teeth of the gear. So if this gear has 30 teeth, this has 60. So 30 divided by 60 is 1 upon 2. So that means my speed of the fan will be half the speed of the motor. Now here, this has 60 teeth, this has 30. 60 divided by 30 is 2. So speed of the assembly will be 2 times the speed of the motor. That is the relation between the ratio of teeth of the gears and speed change and we need to understand smaller gear on motor bigger gear on assembly assembly will rotate slow 
bigger gear on the motor smaller gear on the assembly assembly will rotate faster now one task we have gear s in our kit that has only 12 teeth so instead of this medium gear here use the smallest gear the small gear and see how fast the fan rotates and tell me how fast will it rotate because this gear has 60 teeth whereas the small gear has only 12 teeth do the calculation and tell me how fast the fan will rotate write your answer in the comments what we have done in this video we have converted windmill into a fan we have understood how to achieve speed change using gears and we have also understood the relation between the speed change and the ratio of gear teeth we'll come with another video where we will build one more robot